Hello friends, it is that time again with that Erickson. It is December 11, 2016. I ran a poll on my Twitter on what new video I should be making for this week, and the winner was Eternal Kingdoms. Uh, so thanks to everyone that came out and voted. I was proud to get 74 votes on my Twitter, um, which is under that underscore Erickson. Uh, that's also my Instagram, so be sure to check me out. I post a lot of video games, sports, and uh, my daily adventures here in Brazil if you're interested. Um, so once again, thanks guys. Uh, let's jump right into an integral part of Crowfall, which is Eternal Kingdoms. So, Eternal Kingdoms, what are they? Uh, to describe it very briefly, this is going to be the housing system for Crowfall. However, however, it's much more deeper and complex than that. Uh, I personally am going to love building up my kingdom. Uh, the system, where does it get its roots from? Well, as you all know, I'm a huge fan of the Star Wars universe and the Star Wars galaxy crafting and housing system. Uh, for those of you guys who were not maybe old enough or just plain missed out on galaxies, I'm sorry for your loss. You can still find some community-driven private servers out there if you do some searching. Uh, now, some of the Artcraft team worked and helped create Star Wars Galaxies and the amazing sandbox that it provided. It was an open world system where you can drop your house almost anywhere on the planet of your choice, and um, you just couldn't put it close to NPC cities or landmarks. Uh, compared to how most MMOs this day and age have been, uh, housing instances and instance areas in these games can be very lonely. Uh, this system will be also instance, however, uh, like other popular housing systems like Final Fantasy XIV with the housing districts, um, the very popular dimension system from Rift, which is really customizable and awesome. Um, but getting back to the Star Wars Galaxies housing, you could even fully decorate your, your Galaxy's house with uh, posters and uh, statues and anything you can think of. You can decorate it to your liking and even turn it into your own uh, shop or mall, as they used to call it. You could hire NPC vendors that you can program to advertise your goods uh, and your shop location and basically all the selling. People actually had to venture out to your shop and buy there, which is an immersive experience as compared to just going to the auction board and buying what you wanted. You actually had to trek out to uh, Tatooine and run through the desert to get to your the shop where you wanted to get your item. Um, so let's take a look at this in a graphical representation uh, for a clearer picture. So we're going to look at it in a system of rings. The inner rings will be whatever campaign is currently running at that time. There might be multiple ones, uh, as I mentioned. Be sure to check out my last video about campaigns if you don't know much about it. Uh, the outside ring will be separate kingdoms, or the instanced areas that are owned by a player. Every player is granted one kingdom uh, that start out as a blank mini-world. Uh, that might beg the question, uh, why would you even want one? Well. Considering the options you have, any reason you could imagine. Uh, typically, though, it will be for a social or economic hub for you. Uh, it could be your personal lab where you just craft and relax and decorate your own house and don't let anyone in. Keep it always private. Um, you can make it a sprawling world for your guild and turn it into a kingdom using the fealty system. Uh, basically, you can give sections to your guildies friends uh, to build and help you shape your kingdom together. You can set the rules for your kingdom and maybe even make it into your own campaign, so to speak, where you can run player events. The possibilities are pretty much endless. As I mentioned, most other MMOs had small, limited zones for player housing campaigns. Uh, the worlds will be big in Crowfall. How big, you ask? Well, obviously, they will have a size limit and uh, in comparison to campaigns, but they'll be big enough to handle many concurrent players. Uh, the rumors are a thousand or more. Uh, the system is broken down into square grids, um, with the smallest unit being a lot. Lots will be 8x8 meters, and then you'll have a super lot, which is 5x5 five five lots. Next, you'll have cells, which are 5x5 five five super lots. And then you have super cells, which are 5x5 five five cells. And the kingdom itself will be 5x5 five five super cells. Uh, so, for, for example, your tavern might lay on a 4x4 four four lot. Okay, we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves here, so the first thing you need to have is a parcel. Uh, parcels can be bought in the game uh, via the, the, the in-game system or maybe traded between players or for real money on the crowfall.com store. You then can drop them into your kingdom via the kingdom builder tool. Uh, the parcels will be kind of shaped like Tetris blocks, and you can drop them in any way you see fit and rotate them. Um, don't worry, you can change them. Um, parcels for now can be stronghold parcels or resource parcels. 
Uh, strongholds are the housing slash marketplace designation, and the resource parcels will help you boost max building occupancy or provide other um, small, maybe cosmetic um, boosts only. Uh, they can even help reduce the cost of the maintenance of that parcel, maybe. Uh, you can decorate them, place monster spawners, much more. Uh, yeah, sorry to say, there will be a maintenance cost, and your cities can degrade down to zero. Uh, don't worry, though. If it does degrade to zero, you can get it back by repairing it um, in case you decide to take a long break and forget to pay good old Uncle Todd. The strongholds are going to follow a progression um, from estate to fort to keep, castle, fortress, citadel, and finally palace. Uh, each of these will have a small, medium, and large version that fit into the same uh, Tetris shape. Uh, upgrading allows you more occupancy uh, or other items that we, we don't have much information on, but I can imagine um, you'll have a lot of customizability. Uh, you build on your kingdom using the parcel tool, which is a micro version of the kingdom tool to drop and organize your structures. Just about everything can be dropped into your parcel, harvesting locations, monster spawners, buildings, props like a head on a pike. Um, remember the main game is the campaign worlds, so you won't get rare resources and the best resources will be out in the world. You'll have to get out there, harvest it yourself, uh, make a deal with a fellow player or guildy buy it from some other player's Eternal Kingdom market. Um, the system has so much possibilities that my head is literally spinning. I think the best thing will be seeing what other people create and organize in their own kingdoms. Uh, one of my favorite things to check out in Rift were other people's dimensions. Um, you can see who was getting thumbs up, check it out. Some people would make jumping puzzles in their dimension. Um, I can just see it now in Crowfall, some sort of obstacle course or Battle Royal, where player-hosted events can be ran, maybe some kind of hedge maze or something like that, and you can give out prizes to drive people to come back to your Eternal Kingdom. Uh, and while they're there, maybe they'll stop and shop at your mall. Uh, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think about Eternal Kingdoms, or what kind of event would you like to run or see. Uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for checking out my videos. I'm going to keep pushing content for Crowfall and Crowfall only. And uh, I'm super happy things are going great. Videos are getting good feedback. I'm going to be getting myself a new mic soon because I know the sound quality on some of the videos is bad. But just bear with me, guys. I'm doing this just to entertain. I have no expectations. I'm not looking to make money. I'm just here to entertain you guys. So keep up the awesome feedback. Uh, as a special thank you, I plan to do something, um, something big for my 100 subscriber goal. So get in on that while you can. Uh, once I decide what that is, I'll make a short little video on what I want to do. If you are as excited as I am for Eternal Kingdoms or enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, toss me a subscribe. Uh, you can be notified for uh, any time my videos go up by clicking the little bell there to get notif notifications. Um, this is going to be a full Crowfall content only channel. Uh, I'll be working on my guild site this week to make it a little more presentable. At this time it's just a free placeholder on engine uh, that I'll upgrade as the time comes. Uh, that's crusade-crowfall.engine.com. I'll throw that in the description below. I'll also be cleaning up my Twitch channel to prepare for streaming. That's a bit off, maybe, uh, because uh, as of right now, there's still not much to see. So that'll probably be for the next alpha patch, when there's a lot more entertaining things for you guys to see there. Um, anyway, thanks again, guys. This is That Erickson, and until next time, take care, friends.